The state of Vermont is facing a potential lawsuit from an environmental law firm. That group says the state is behind and it's not going to meet next year's deadline to reduce the state's carbon footprint. NBC5 Stephen Biddix explains. It's not a suggestion. It's the law of the land. The Conservation Law Foundation has filed a notice of lawsuit to the state of Vermont. The notice is specifically calling out the Vermont Agency of Natural Resources. The environmental firm believes Vermont is not on track to meet its 2025 legally binding Global Warming Solutions Act deadline, which is reducing emissions by 26% from where they were in 2005. We think if properly calibrating the model, it would actually show that we're on, you know, material, on track for material fa failure. And that's something that Vermonters need to know. The foundation, which focuses on preserving New England's landscape, believes the Agency of Natural Resources is using inaccurate modeling, showing they're closer to reaching deadlines than reality. ANR disputes this claim. Our ideal outcome from this notice letter is actually that the secretary of the agency work with us to improve the modeling and forecasting so we do get a true understanding of the projection of where we are. I was disappointed that CLF chose to, to frame their concerns in terms of, I guess, personally, my integrity, um, suggesting that somehow our work was, was dishonest or included misinformation which frankly couldn't be further than from the, the truth. A 60 day notice is mandatory before filing a lawsuit. So if the Conservation Law Foundation moves forward, the suit could be filed in September in state court. I think all litigation has the potential to be years. I mean, you could have a dispute between two neighbors over a pop property boundary and it would take years. So that's always on the table. This is a little different in that um, the statute lays out how you would sue. It's still unclear what impact this could have on taxpayers. The Conservation Law Foundation is also concerned that the state will struggle with their 2030 and 2050 deadlines. But ANR is confident they will meet those 2025 deadlines and have time to close the gaps for the other environmental benchmarks. In Montpelier, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.